right, we are live. We've got uh, everything working. Welcome. We're going to be playing Pathfinder Kingmaker today, as it says in the title. Uh, once again, we got um, music by Retalius uh, with his lo fi Lotus music in the background. It's wonderful. Uh, if you end up liking the stream, remember to follow. If you find me on YouTube and you're watching this there, like and subscribe. Let's get into it. I don't have any of the DLC, so we're going to do the main story. And character creation. Move the, screw the thing a bit. Make sure that... Uh, we're getting the entire screen. I noticed that my last Pixelmon screen, the bottom of it, was cut off a bit, which is, which sucks. I'll fix it. I'll have it fixed for next time, though. Okay, so, critical hits. Oh, oh okay, this is difficulty setting. We are going to do uh, normal. I have never played this before, so... Uh, yeah, that's gonna be fun. Let's create a character. That's the best part about these kinds of games. And uh, I do want to end up being Eldritch Knight. I know that's a possibility here. that we'll like we'll go with this one and we are going to be oh, we can be an asimar asimir we cannot be a tiefling it seems how very interesting Elven magic, elven immunities, elven weapon familiarity. What about humans? What do, what do humans got? Oh. We can even pick what it, what our main hand is. That is interesting. I think we're gonna be a generic human boy. Yeah, I think that's gonna be us. Kinda slender. Can we zoom in on the face? No. And we're just gonna go normal face. Make ourselves pale. Cause I, 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 IRL, I am pale as foot. Now for the hair. That's close to what I look like. And we want a beard. What's two look like? Uh, we'll go with three on that one. And make it my color. So I think we're going to go with human. Because of that extra feet, mainly. And skill. And because they don't have a tiefling race. Alright, so we want to get down here. Ability to cast arcane spells, third level spells. Okay. So, we need a fight. What's a slayer? Do 
see this is where this is where I want to be So I've played D and D, but I've never played the Pathfinder stuff. I'm pretty sure it's a bit different. I don't know how much different, but I know it is a bit different. Like this is not a thing. Neither is this, <laughs> or this. This, I believe, is a thing now, if you pick a certain class. Uh, I think we're going to go with Fighter. And then we need Arcane. Ooh, Two-Handed Fighter. Oh, we actually have... So let's Slayer stuff. Spawn Slayer? I didn't know that was going to be a thing. Eldritch Scoundrel. Could we... Maybe... What do we get here? We get plan trips. We get... Oh man, I really don't know. I don't know what I was expecting, but I wasn't quite expecting that. Um, did you change our appearance? No. Alright, let's... Oh, no thank you. What the Inquisitor look like? Oh wow. That is quite the hat we have there. Magus. I don't know what. Okay. Eldridge Scion. I need to pick one of these Eldridge things. I feel like that is... I feel like that is what we need to do. What about Wizard? Sorcerer? What sorcerer got? I don't know. Okay. Rogue, maybe? Maybe. Or that Eldritch Scoundrel. I do like the way it looks. And I know rogues get some pretty interesting stuff. In D and D later on, so maybe. Um. Ah. 
I just all I know is I, I, I all I really know is I want to get through this. So can the Eldritch Scoundrel get to third level spells? That is the question. It definitely seems he's got some martial and spell casting potentialities. Then there's also the Scion. Spell combat. And wield his weapons at the same time. See that? That I feel is what I need for me. Just up here. Oh. Don't know why. What does that say? Oh, it's my outfit. My outfit. Uh, make that back to red, I guess. I didn't know that. that was going to be a thing. That's cool. Make it black again. Alright, let's see. Now, do we have to do anything here? I think that's just bloodline. No, that's just class. So we pick our class. Next, bloodline. Ah. Oh. Family is skilled at the art of eldritch magic. Bonus feats of art, combat casting, improved initiative. Uh, what about down here? I think that we do best with the arcane bloodline for the eldritch casting. At third level, every level is that after a sorcerer learns an additional spell of bloodline. Alright, cool. Your family was always skilled within the art. Bleh. Your family has always been skilled in the eldritch art of magic. While many of your relatives were accomplished wizards, your powers developed without the need for study and practice. Magic comes naturally to you, but as you gain levels, you must take care to prevent the power from overwhelming you. Okay. I wonder if that will actually come into play. Uh, so it looks like we'll have two feats from the get-go, and a bloodline skill selection, and a clan trip. Okay. Alright, now, we are, oh, we're going to be a spellcaster, then it seems like, well, it's recommending things, so I'm guessing our spells are going to come from our charisma. Let's get that up there a bit. Get this up there a bit. Um, let's see what this this seems to affect our athletics and our combat maneuvers, defense in particular. Let's Alright. What is this? Constitution is of course our health points. And we do need quite a few help. We need help. That, that is a thing. Uh, this is our arcane knowledge. This is our lore and perception. And our will save. Uh, and then here we got our pers persuasion and magic device use and our magus skills uh, how many how many points we got we got let's get that up to that like to be a beefy boy and then 
there. We want we want to have some perception thing, uh, like a little bit of perception uh, stuff. It and some will to try and make those will saves. Um, and our last skill point can go into. Because we do, we are going to be doing melee. And maybe at one of our next levels, we will be able to put another. Maybe, maybe eventually we can put more points into our strength. Now we've got three points in our allocated skills. Ah, oh, persuasion's always good. Let's make that a plus. Ooh, plus seven actually. Oh, that's great. Now, um. Forgeries, decipher writing, identity, monsters, human you know, recall, knowledge about geography, history, people, and places. Potentially good. Magic device use. What about athletics? Let's go with physical abilities of leaping, scaling walls, swimming, uh, catch objects, climb obstacles, jump, and so on. Maybe, maybe we should put a point there too. Yeah, see, that's that. That should be good. And maybe over here. We'll do that. Oh, a racial bonus. Oh. Okay, point blank shot. Recommended. What does it do? Come on. Gain a plus one of bonus on attack and damage rolls with ranged weapons at ranges of up to 30 feet. Arcane strikes. Uh, I do like combat casting. That's something we need. Let's see. Ooh, spell penetration. You know, that could be useful later on. Let's go with that. And now our abilities. We can have a familiar viper, ravager, creature, boa, character, rat, ladder, monkey. I know I'm re reading these in some weird ass thing. We want a doggy. We want a dog familiar. And then our bloodline. So nature, religion, or world. Let's go from the world. Let's go for that. And then we'll move on to our spells. So we can have two spells. Burning hands, corrosive touch, and large person. That's an interesting one. 
uh, flare burst, grease. I'm pretty sure we start with magic missile. Well, if I go back here. Like, magic missile is always such a good... Yeah, I, I think that we'll learn magic missile naturally. It's a good spell, so. Diva, <sighs> let's see. All creatures with a ten foot burst centered on target point. Fortitude, negate. Let's go with that, and then I think I'll go with Vanish, just just for the utility of it. I'll take care of it. Get it off me. Let us press on. You're done for. Let us bide our time. Spells not working like. I didn't even break a sweat. I need to march, march. All I do is march. Someone else would make better use of this. I like that one. So, birthday. Eight of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Estrus. Er, 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 never mind. I'm not even going to try. I'm not even going to try. I'm going to spit this head in it. I, I really have a hard time saying saying words. I really do. Alright, and now for the name. Name is simple. Shadow. Prower. And we're gonna be chaotic neutral. Because uh in my DMD campaign, that's actually what I am. It's it's it, it suits my play style. Time's not waiting. And here we go. All of our all of our stuff. And with that, I think we are ready to uh, we're ready to start this. Gods think of us as more than dogs to be trained, but we can still surprise them. Selim Gardafar Gardar Gadeh. Don't even know. Let's see what's going on. Our story started at the mansion of an Aldori swordlord. Drawn by the promise of a most dangerous task and a commensurately huge reward, heroes of all stripes gathered here. Okay, it's voice acted. Interesting. Oh, there we are. Where are they? This is taking forever! Didn't even say what this was for, just that the Aldori were looking for heroes. Who are the Aldori anyway, rich folk? If you can't be patient, no one's keeping you here. Just go back to your mountains or whatever hole you crawled out of. The Aldori sword lords run the premier school for the dueling arts. They're also the richest and most influential group in this part of Brevoy. Take that tone with them, and they'll teach you some manners pretty quickly. Checking something. All right. All right, you purple toad, just shut your trap. And if you can't, I'll help you. Uh, 
I've got a character in my D&D campaign that's just like this. It's wonderful. Hush, quiet. They're coming. Greetings, everyone. I am Sword Lord Jamandi Aldori, and this is Lord Mayor Yosef Salimius of Restal. Welcome to my mansion. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts for responding to our call. You may be few, but that's unavoidable. We need only the best of the best for this task. And I see true heroes before me, strong and fearless. Exactly what Restoff needs. The mayor, a middle-aged man with a bushy sideburns and a monocle. Uh, I kind of wish they would have that character that did that little opening. At least describe the people for us, too. Thank you, Lord Mayor. Now, to the point. South of here, just beyond Brevoy's border, lies a region known as the Stolen Lands. This is disputed territory. And while it's long been claimed by nearby states, it's never been truly taken. I won't bore you with the legal technicalities. Suffice to say that anyone with enough courage and power to seize the stolen lands and name themselves Baron or Baroness, claiming dominion, well, none of the neighboring states would be able to challenge it. Of course, Restoff would be first to recognize the legitimacy of this new state as well as the noble title of its founder. Okay, that's interesting. Unfortunately, one serious obstacle stands between you and this title. A gang of bandits hold sway in the Stolen Lands. Their chief, who they call the Stag Lord, considers himself the rightful owner of these lands, and no one has yet been able to challenge his power. Bring me his head, and you'll be able to return to the Stolen Lands as their legal ruler. Any questions? I will, of course. I'm the leader of this team, after all. Oh. Don't worry, though. I'll make it worth your while to help me. Our character is not voice acted. I, I guess I will voice his, 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 his questions, then. We haven't yet begun, and you already speak of divvying rewards. What makes you think we'll even succeed? There's little point arguing over who gains the title, when we'll most likely lose our lives there. Ahem, <clears throat> if I may please answer the question. Oh, wrong pause. We all believe right. you're all equally deserving of a noble title. Over the course of your expedition, it will be up to you as a team to decide which of you is best suited to rule. That's a good point. Oh, I... As I see it, this stag lord already holds power over the region with confidence. Many noble bloodlines were started by bandits who just got lucky, weren't they? Perhaps because we do have standards to maintain. This room has seen many celebrations of adventurers, and even those who just got lucky. But giving a noble title to a bandit lord? <laughs> that's one thing that's never happened here. And it won't, while I still breathe. Interesting. Okay. <clears throat> You're helping us found a bannery. What do you gain from such a... from such generosity? Don't ask stupid questions. Why should you even care? What they have to gain and why? That's for Lady Aldori and I to discuss. It's none of your concern. Your only concern is to swing your sword around or whatever it is you do. This guy, I do not like. At all. Of course we stand to benefit from this enterprise. But if you're concerned that we intend to rule your country from afar, using you as a front, well, please know that these concerns are unfounded. Let's just say that we have a strong interest in the region's stability. We have need of a ruling power we can negotiate with, not bandit gangs and monster hordes. What is that smell in the air? Is it the smell?
smell of unspoken words and political intrigue? Hmm. That's interesting. What reward can we expect exactly? And what reward would you seek beyond a noble title and your own lands? Shut up, bitch. It doesn't even get a fucking portrait. We'll absorb the costs of preparing and equipping your expedition. Once you return victorious, Restoff will also allocate you a significant sum to provide financial support for you to establish your country. Essentially, we'll help you build your capital. I hope such a reward is satisfactory. Words, words, words. Significant, financial. I can't fill my belly with pretty words. Of course, there will also be an official banquet held in your honor. All of Rostov's high society will gather to celebrate your feat. Now you're talking. All right. Well, it's clear as day. Excellent. You venture forth tomorrow. For now, you can take some time to get to know one another better. Or you can head straight to your guest rooms to get some rest. You'll find we've already prepared supplies for you there. And thank you again for agreeing to take part in this expedition. I wish you luck. Thank you. Thank you again, with all my heart, for replying to this call. The flare in your eyes reveals your courage, the unshakable will that distinguishes true heroes. I look at you, O oh champions of Restoff, and doubt not for a second that you'll be victorious. So venture forth toward your feet. Go, and return in triumph. Hmm. All right. My name's Lindsay. I'm a bard, so this is my first real adventure. So, shall we go teach this stag lord a lesson? I'm Shadow Prower, Likewise. please meet you. Actually, I also wanted to ask you something. How do you feel about this Tartuccio fellow? I think he's pretty obnoxious, personally. He appointed himself head of the team, and he's just after the Baron's crown, or whatever it is Baron's wear. Doesn't matter. I don't like him. I think you should be team leader. When I first saw you, I couldn't help but think, now here's a real hero. Someone who'll be praised in poems and songs. This... This is the person I'll write my book about. Wait, a book? Damn, I should have led with that. Please, just... Let me explain. You know what the trouble with most heroes' biographies is? They're always written years later, based on the tales of, best case, people who saw things from the outside. Worst case, someone heard about it from their brother, who heard it from their friend, who heard it from their cousin, and so on, adding a new batch of lies each time. Every time I read about a heroic journey, I think to myself, why didn't they just bring a bard with them to write it all down properly? Okay. And then I thought, I could be that bard. I just needed to find a suitable hero and volunteer to follow along on their glorious adventure. A great plan, huh? And here we are, with a heroic journey lying before us. Who's going to be the hero? Some dwarf who keeps muttering about how we'll all die? Or maybe that horrific scythe lady? Or gods forbid, Tartuccio? No way. Hmm. She did leave out our Amir Amirai, however, however the fuck you say that woman's name. But I think we'll just. I didn't. All I didn't right. read it again. I'm going my to my bad. room to write about tonight. See you in the morning. All right. Alright, can we actually talk to Tartuccio? Tomorrow our glorious journey begins. Oh, 
Ooh, what's this? Spell book. Oh, look at it. <laughs> All right, what's this? All according to plan. Large map of Bravoy. And its surroundings dotted with numerous cryptic marks and notes. Let's see. Coupe de Degras. A scroll of magic missile, a scroll of shield, and a scroll of expeditious retreat. Weapon sex? Oh. They'll never see me coming. Looks like everyone's moving out. Deactivate AI. Let's not do that. Um. It doesn't look like we can trigger any actual. Yeah, I've I've already figured out how to. Yeah. Northern architecture is beautiful, but very heavy. In my native land of Guadaria. Don't know, guys. Places are furnished quite differently. Interesting. You know, In this, due time. this is a... This is a... May maybe if we just stick around and wait for everyone else to leave... There'll be some secret. Looks like the only thing we can interact with in the room is the table, really. A tad bit. There we go. Ah! 
All right. Dice rolls, initiative, attack roll, damage, armor class. It's all done automatically, I'm guessing. Enemy yeah! approaching. This should do it. I guess that's what I thought. Okay. What's this? Level three uh, armor. Armor three and armor here is two, and it's light armor, which should be fine for us. Okay, there we go. We got a new shirt. What is our rapiers? One to six. One to four. We don't want that. Uh, not, not for me. I think we leave one hand empty for uh, spell casting because we do have that 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 uh, trait. That is not far. Oh, look at that. We can actually decide which way we face as we move. Good, good. Let's let's go. Hmm? Door? Oh, it was already open. <laughs> oh, that person's dead. We do have dexterity, so ranged weapons are an option for us. As it should be. And we do have a way to quickly switch between our weapon types. So let's, before we move, uh... Ooh, do we need... Do we need arrows? What's this? Ever-burning torch. Two of them. I guess there might be dark areas. Okay, it's a two-handed two, two bow. And then we've got... Those quests and tasks. Oh, she must be a she must be a companion then. That's cool. And I'm guessing, seeing as how this is front and center right here, uh, we can change our alignment depending on how we act, which could be interesting. Could see how our character develops over time. Uh, that would be fun. There's how much experience we need. Just killing one guy got us 46. Uh, abilities. Martial class biography. Oh, oh! Does it? It keeps track of our of thing of things like that. Okay. Um, we've got an encyclopedia. It's our bestiary and stuff, huh? All right, and then we got a map. Interesting. All right, all right. We are we are pretty much set. We've got our little familiar doggo. Before we talk to her, see what's going on there. Let's go look at a book, I guess. Um, another dagger. I'll take. Oh no, that's my that's my inventory. This is. Old map. Nah. Take it. Take that. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, we'll just we'll just take all of that. That's that's fine. In due time. Let's uh They 
They got someone. We need to help. Or have to help. Oh, it's a little fuck I don't care about, though. We will be victorious! Alright, let's, uh... A calculated risk. You're just in time. A bit longer, and I'd have Lady Jamandi's holding the line in the banquet hall. Didn't mean to click you that. You know, the one where she had us gather before. We need to make our way to her. And along the way, we'll try to save some of these dummies who are supposed to accompany us to the stolen land. Speaking of dummies, take this ring. Quiet now, so that little fool doesn't hear us. She might try to steal it herself. It's magical. It'll protect you. You'll need it while you work to defend me. Something feels off. Something feels way off. Yeah, I've already figured that out. I ain't, I ain't trusting it. Oh, what was that? I, mm. All right, let's just let's just go. Oh, hang on. I know what to do. Gone. Our victory is certain. All right, so serves you right. She'll attack him. Leave this one She'll to me. Him, I am prepared. This will hurt. Advanced combat. Yeah, 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 yeah. I figured. I figured all that out already. can put them on quick shot slots and these guys have tons of healing potions so we'll take that 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 and that and base armor class of one we've already got dagger and short bow and we don't need that oh we have to worry about weight so spell book abilities Belt. Uh, e is a quick slot, so equipped. Right, okay. Put that on the E quick slot. Uh, how do I... Okay, shift click. Got it. Now, uh, the one that we didn't put on the quick slot, we will go ahead and use to heal ourselves up. Let's move on. All according to plan. just need potions any and all potions follow my lead will be wonderful
Okay. No mistakes. Let's uh Enemy approaching. under my feet or I'll strike you down. Blood for Gorum! Barbarians. I think that's exactly how heroes should be. What, stupid, sweaty, and always looking for something to gobble up or lop the head off of? Calistria, save me from such heroes. All right, guys. There's another potion. More daggers that we do not need. In due time. Drop your weapons and we will spare your lives. This, I'm afraid I can't offer you the same courtesy. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Little doggo walks into the cutscene. Yeah, I would have stayed back there too. That's completely understandable. Uh, it doesn't look like we can do anything there, but let's go grab. Let's go see what's on their bodies. Health potion. A potion of an enlarged person. And some long swords. I do prefer long swords. Ooh, a spear. Somebody might need might be good with that. Uh, let's not do that. We'll we'll take it, but we're not we don't need it. Um instead of the rapier, we're gonna use the long sword. Yeah, that'll do. And it looks like that giant... Oh, we can investigate it. Mm, let's do that. Okay, yeah, I didn't think so. Um, off we go! A skill check! Sometimes I'm trapped. Some skill checks are traps or something. Okay. So. A boss, please. Yeah. Uh, I, there wasn't an animation for it, but that's got, that's still cool. All right. Uh. Ready for anything. That's all my mad. That's all my spell casting. I didn't think of that. I might have I might have saved a flare burst for for something later. Oops. <laughs> I've got four weapon enha enha enhancements to Okay. Let's Can try you this to way. I need inspiration. <laughs> Potions, always welcome. I didn't mean to do that. It's a good thing we got all those potions. Four, to be precise. Equipped. Can I equip multiple? Yeah. So we got two on our belt. And Q and E will be our health restorative things. All right. Check what's in this room. Anything else? Let's 
can't make use of that. Or that. We need that though. The tower shield. Alright. Moving on. That is not far. Anybody over here? There's nobody over there. I wonder if I'll be able to use my familiar as my Oh, familiar faces. I hope you're not so frightened as to swing at every shadow. It's me, Jathal. I don't recommend advancing down the hallway, assuming you value your life, of course. There were a few people with me, and you can see what happened to them. And just how did they all end up dead while you don't seem to have a scratch? You know about encumbrance. I'll answer but briefly and just once. Further scares and explanations will wait until we aren't being hunted by a group of assassins. Deal? All right. I'm undead. Ooh. These traps are deadly to the living, but they're harmless to me. How fortunate. What do you mean, undead? Really? Like, zombies or skeletons or... Lindsay. Does she look like a skeleton? As I said, further explanations will wait until later. All you need to know right now is that we're on the same side, and we have to fight off a small army of hired assassins. Let's get to it. Could she be a vampire? Okay. Alright, we got a few options then. We can use her to trigger them, right? Or maybe. Time's not waiting. Uh you have my attention. Let's see. How curious. Okay, okay so. Focus on the goal. I don't seem to be able to disarm it. Okay, that's fine. Because we have her. She... <gasps> okay. Alright. <laughs> that was close. Um... I get the bad feeling about stealing from, from this place. I see something. Okay. Request. Jathal. What a surprise. I will grant your request. Any more? No? Okay. We can all move together again. See if there's anyone of interest in here. Doesn't appear to be. We can move on to this corpse. Scroll of Bless, and a scroll of... Uh, no, a, a scroll? Yeah, a scroll of Shield of Faith. Could be useful later. I think I want to save my scrolls, but this doesn't seem too difficult at the moment. I shouldn't have wasted all my... I am prepared. All my clan trips on um, the starting guys. What are you dallying for? I'm telling you, Jamandi's cache has to be somewhere. Well, hurry up before. Stop! Someone's be coming! Victorious. Okay. Alright. First off. This should do it. Me and Lindsay will you deserved start it. on that. Uh, Jathal. Unworthy. And. Fuckface. We'll Just start on him. Already. Let's go! Awesome! Alright! Uh, 
I feel like we As might not want to do that. Just keep moving. Oh, I thought that was going to be an enemy. Alright, everyone. Oof. Oof. That's an oof. Ha! Everything is so much fun with a little fire. What a night, huh? I thought I was all alone. It's good you're here. A bit boring, chasing fool assassins without anyone watching the show. It's not fun at all. Many people have died for nothing. Of course, I'm from Kadira. But tales of hot deserts and shady oases can wait until the fighting's finished. But if you'd like to share a dinner and pleasant conversation, just say the word. I like making new friends. I am Kaiesa. I don't think we met. One of the many here who seek a better fate. Answering the call of Lady Jamandi. But unlike the others, I never dropped my guard, day or night. It's why I'm still alive. There are assassins on the prowl. We have to go. I don't know where you're headed, but I'll be at the entrance to the main hall. I think I saw some guards there. Join me there, if you wish. Ah, she's talking to him. He's not dead, is he? The club might be useful for someone. Uh, were you part of that loot, Cash? No, you weren't. A short bow. Check over here. Oh, the whole party ain't together. Doink. Grotus, I can sense your silhouette hovering over me. It won't be much longer. Soon we shall meet, O oh Lord of Oblivion. Aren't you being a bit premature? Look at yourself. Barely got a scratch. You're wrong. Who would know better than I the severity of my own wounds? I can feel the last drops of vital force leaving me. Pour one of the dwarf's own healing potions into his mouth. This should help. <sighs> Too late. Forgive me. Oblivion is calling. All right, that's it. All right, we're, we're going with the intimidate. Quit the axe. Stand and fight or I'll really send you to your final rest. How rude. Speaking to a dying man that way, look, I can't even move. What? It, 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 it can't be, for I'm gravely wounded. I can't even stand on my own two feet. Watch. Okay, uh, I'll be damned. It, uh, it seems I will live. I suppose I must postpone meeting my god, not for long, I'm sure. But while we remain in this transient world, Arim... Is at your service. I don't know how I feel about you, ha ha Aram. I don't. I really don't. But a fifth member to the party is not a bad thing. Formation? Oh. Okay. Uh. Oh. Uh. Yeah, okay, yes. Yes, yes. Grotus awaits us. Wait, what is. What is Aram here? Uh. Character? Yeah, let's. Yes, okay. So. He's a cleric. He does need to. He does probably need to be in the back. What kind of. He has a, a flail. And, uh, 
heavy shield. I don't know. Maybe you could be. Hmm. We, 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 we will consider. What 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 about fuckface? Fuckface is a sorcerer. Could. Mm. And then you, Inquisitor. He's an elf from Fjolin. One who is not quite alive. Her elves, the elves exiled her from their kingdom for her terrible deeds. Her search for a new home and new patron has brought her to our leader's banner. She pays little heed to her companions and when she does she behaves as if she already as if she's ready to bite her uh, their heads off she gives me the creeps let's hope our enemies are just as frightened okay i'm pretty sure that's our uh, our lindsay talking i love the little sketches too that's kind of cute Alright, so I think our party should look something like this. Yeah. Is that all it takes? Yes, it is. Oh, that's cool. All right, and then we can. All according to plan. Yeah. You run and get an axe. You bring more water. You stay here and hold our defense. Those assassins are still around here somewhere. Aha! Some of our guests survived. Good. You need to get to the banquet hall and help Lady Jamandi. Who are you? Keston, House Gares, a fighter in the service of Sword Lord Jamandi Aldori. Right now, I'm in charge of the mansion guards. As you can see, there's a lot to do. Fair point. If I were a rich and influential lady like Jamandi, I'd also get myself a manly captain of the guard. Or two. What's going on here? Someone opened the gate. Let in a group of assassins in the middle of the night. Oh. Now they've set the mansion on fire to cut off access to the hall. They don't want Lady Jamande to get reinforcements. We cleared the passage so you can get through. Just try to avoid inhaling the smoke. We'll be right behind you. We just need to put out the fire first to save the mansion. Considering Lady Jamande's fate, I'm not surprised that the whole pack of assassins were unleashed on her, including a giant. But what's at stake? What could anyone hope to gain? Do you need help putting out the fire? Well, we'll manage. I've got my best people here. Those who still live. Your place is by Lady Aldori's side. I think I decide where my side, where my place is. It doesn't seem right. What if some of the guards are wounded? We need to help them. Where's the hall? We have to run through the fire. We've almost put it out at the entrance, so your main concern should be to not inhale any smoke. Hold your breath and take the first right, then head straight down the hallway. I'll go immediately. Fire doesn't frighten me, thanks to hell's blood running in my veins. I'll go ahead and wait for you on the other side. Catch up! May Abadar keep you safe. Okay. Huh. Oh! Illustrated book episodes. Some game events play out as illustrated book episodes. The decisions you make during these episodes can have a drastic impact on the development of the game's plot. Very fun. As with dialogues, you will often need to make various skill checks during these episodes. Depending on the circumstances, sometimes you will need to choose one of your party members to perform an action. And sometimes, an action will be automatically performed by the character with the highest skill bonus. Oh! 
Uh, okay, and so our adventure started. Earlier and much more tragic than we had expected. The whole team who'd gathered in the hall yesterday had been reduced to but a handful of brave souls, led by Shadow Prower. Yeah. And not all by that, not at all by that scoundrel Tart Tartuccio. No matter the, no matter what he might have imagined of himself. Jamandi at Alditori was waiting for us. But to get to her, we have to march through the fire. Literally. As we approach the burning building, we covered our noses and mouths before we rushed inside, drenched ourselves with buckets of water, eh, tried to find a less dangerous passage. Covered our noses before we rushed in. We were not Oh! It was a good thing we hadn't wasted any time. After entering the building and taking just a few steps forward, the wall behind us slanted and crashed down with a terrible crackling sound, blocking the way back. While we may not have plan on going back, if, if we'd come in a little later, the flaming logs and red-hot bricks would have fallen right on our heads. Regardless, we were left with only one way to go. Ooh. Oh, this is blocking the view of this. <clears throat> Ooh. The hot air burned our lungs and our eyes watered from the smoke, but Shadow Prower led us stubbornly through the flames, while Tartuccio did nothing useful at all. We made it to the hallway leading to the banquet hall when we heard someone calling for us. It was Valerie, one of the guards I had chatted with a bit in the banquet hall. Even then, in all that, in, in all that calm setting, I'd been stunned by her beauty. But now, amid the smoke and flame, she looked like a celestial avenger, an armored deity, menacing but beautiful and merciful, descending from the higher spheres to help us poor mortals. She, hel she held a burned, barely living guard in her arms. There are two more, she shouted as she passed by us. They are wounded. Help me pull them out. Tatushio crumbled something about how Jamandi was waiting for us. Meanwhile, Shadow Prower rushed to save the guard from the fire. Oh no! Saving the poor fellows was harder than it had seemed. We inhaled a lot of smoke and burned ourselves more than once before managing to pull them away from the fire. Only then did Valerie rush to catch her breath and wipe sweat from her face. Thank you. That was truly noble of you, she said. And now, let us rush to the Lady Aldore's aid. Ensuring the guards we'd rescued were relatively safe. We made our way to the hall, where the battle was already in full swing. Did we get a little... Yeah, we got a little hurt. Except for... Except for uh, Valerie. Who seems... Quite alright. Uh, we do need to figure out what Valerie is. So we can... Valerie is a power shield specialist. Ooh. Very specific, that is. One of your characters is fatigued. This is just one of the negative conditions. She, oh, okay. A couple of our characters are fatigued, including, it looks like, me. Uh, penalty to strength and dexterity. That's pretty... That's pretty par for the course. She is perfectly fine, though. <laughs> uh, of course, Jathal is. I, I hope I, I, I really hope I can uh, pro 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 eh, pronounce some of the characters' names right. Especially, at least the ones I like. Fuckface here. This fucker. Fuckface. Makes sense. But, you know. I'm not, I'm not really that different of a person from him. 
but uh, <clears throat> yeah. Okay. So, we need. She's a tower shield person. We can pull him back. Put me on the on one side, her in the middle, and her there. Yeah, I think this is going to be our formation for this this current team. Yeah. And then there's the door. Let's go. Uncollected loot. Oh. When you leave a location, you can view uncollected loot from defeated enemies and then decide if you want to take it or just leave it behind loot from other sources such as plants, chests, and any and hidden stashes can be collected manually. And you have to be collected manually. Yeah. That that seems about right. I actually do something similar for my D and D group. Oh my. Okay. Well, teams. No. I don't want nothing from tar 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 bitch. I might need to grab me something to drink here in a minute. I feel like I'm going to be doing a lot of talking. <clears throat> might need to go grab a, wa a water instead of a Coke, though. Hello. Rip Blossom's already on the way. S say your prayers, scum. Alright, um... Unworthy to Go. victory. <laughs> All right, let's see. We're <laughs> obliterating these guys. Oh, oh, I died. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Let's uh grab that. that. We don't need the rest of it. Wow. Let's go grab this as well. Uh, yeah, we'll grab that, and then we'll grab that Great Axe. And... Guess we now need to talk to Jarmondi. Thank you for your valor and bravery. The enemy was strong, but you were stronger. And that means I made the right choice. Just as I thought, there were worthy leaders among you. I'm especially grateful to them for the courage and common sense they showed while defending the mansion. But this attack means we have even less time than I thought. Someone already knows of our plans and is acting against us. You'll begin your expedition immediately. Lady Aldori, please, I know who arranged this attack. The vile king of Pitax, Iroveti. What's more, I know who among us works for him. Hey, you! Show everyone the ring you're wearing. 
You think I wouldn't recognize Hiroveti's seal? That's why he wasn't killed. The bandits recognized him as one of their own by this signet ring. Probably, yes. But this evidence is circumstant. There's definitely a spy among us. But who? All I have is one word against another. I'm afraid you're both under suspicion. Mm. They both came to your aid, Lady Jamandi. But a liar's cunning knows no bounds. I've never met these two or their companions. For all I know, they're all conspiring spies. How could you say that? We fought together. We literally went through fire together. And then you vanished into thin air. After you promised you'd wait. My words might be rash. I bet my life despise anyone but this man. I saw how he dealt with those creeps with my own eyes. A true warrior. I'd go with him through hell and high water. This purple crook on the other hand. <laughs> he's got the eyes of a spy. And the mug of a spy. Lady Eldori, don't listen to this thick-headed barbarian. She doesn't know what she's talking about. During the attack, our leader showed his true colors. He forced us to break into the armory and rob it. Considering the circumstances, that was more than reasonable. Cool. Awesome. I should have read what I chose there. That was a sound decision. Sometimes one must act at one's own risk and peril until crossing the boundaries of what is allowed. Showing initiative is no crime. It is insane when faced with death to stop and question whether you may be breaking some law or rule. Even more insane would be to ask forgiveness for making the right decision. Sorry, but your words display a lack of wisdom. No, they don't. What about that trick he pulled right before we came in here? He knew very well you were fighting the enemy, but instead of rushing to help you, he dallied as long as he could, dropping everything to save people from the fire, even though the guards were handling things just fine. He was obviously hoping to show up too late and find you already dead. Really, Cartuccio? You're seriously trying to blame someone for saving people from a fire? May Shellen spare me from ever having to make such a choice, but he behaved decently as a true leader. A true leader is someone who has their priorities straight, not someone who would put a valuable ally's life in danger for the sake of some servant. Ooh, I don't think she likes me. Enough squabbling. I'm still not sure which of you I can trust. However, the risk of entrusting the whole affair to a spy is too great. Here's what we'll do. Two teams will head out. That way, I'll know at least one group can be counted on to serve my interests in the stolen lands. Lady Aldori, most of those who were to set off for the stolen lands have been killed. Those who yet live will require help. Please allow me to join the expedition. I'm sad to lose such a talented warrior. But you're right, Valerie. They have greater need of you right now. Go, and may Abadar keep you. Which of the two teams would you prefer to accompany? If my leader allows, I would join his team. He seems a worthy commander in my eyes. Commanders, military leaders, all these laws and rules are but dust and vanity. I suppose I will accompany Tortuccio. Very well then, be gone with you. Our leader is good in battle, but I don't like all the spiritual agonizing. I prefer those who can act without wasting time helping every little pipsqueak. Ah. Those like Tortuccio. Okay, we're not getting her on our team. She would have been useful for traps. Ugh, Tortuccio is going to take the credit for himself and be done with it. Shellen, spare me from such allies. I'm going with you. You're a hero worthy of my quill. As for me, I know them. neither of these two. At least, not well enough. 
And I have no wish to become an unwitting pawn to an unworthy leader. If Lady Jamandi allows, I'll remain in Restoff and help mend the wounds this attack has inflicted. But who knows? The road may bring me to the Stolen Lands, but not yet. I don't even need to think. I'm coming with this man. As for you, Purple Toad, just wait until we meet along the way. I'll be sure to hang your rotten spy guts from the trees. Hmm. All right, we have two teams. To avoid unnecessary conflict on the road, you'll each take a different route to the Stolen Lands. The Paladin. Tartuccio's team will go through Nevactus the Crossing. The, the Garrison Commandant will provide him all the help he needs. You will take your team to Oleg Leviton's trading post. He's been complaining about the Stag Lord's bandits for a while now. There, you'll be provided with all the necessary travel supplies. I'd like to believe you, but I know all too well how convincing traitors and spies can be. If you're truly innocent, I hope you can forgive me this precaution. While you're away, Keston will investigate the night's events and learn who in Restov is working for Patox. But you should know that it isn't just Patox we need to worry about. The Royal House of Sertova may also interfere in our plan. I've managed to keep this affair a secret from them so far, but that can't last long. By my estimations, you have no more than three months. After that, any feats you accomplish will be pointless. And now, farewell. This battle was but the first ordeal along your path, and you overcame it as true champions of Restov. May Hopefully. the obstacles that follow also fall to your feet. Fear nothing, my friends, and return victorious. I hope that we can eventually get at least one of these two on our side. It seems like that tiefling can will join us eventually too. We're setting off on our first big adventure. Cool. Oh, there's camping and stuff too. It's essentially a fucking campaign of D&D. Surviving a terrible night, our small team set off to brave our fate. Beware, stolen lands. Heroes are on the way. Oh, stop the sneeze. Oh man, that was that was bad. Map movement. <clears throat> Alright, let's see what's this. Uh, this is the map of the Stolen Lands and their vicinity. To set out, click one of the arrows near your party token. You can learn the whereabouts of significant locations by talking to characters or happening upon them during your journey. After learning about a location, you must find the way there yourself. Along the way, random encounters await. You may be attacked by monsters, or you may meet new acquaintances. Okay. After exiting the location of a random encounter, you will not be able to return there. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Very interesting. Any spell attacks with weapons or spells in this area? Make an epic okay. I need inspiration. Uh, thylacine. Okay. Let's just let the let's. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, you. You. Heal. You out of our story. Okay. <laughs> it's it's high time to set up camp. In camp, all characters will restore some of their lost hit points, and those capable of casting spells will replenish them to camp. 
you need special resource rations. Press R or click rest button and outline of a camp appears under your mouse cursor. Green outline allows you to click and search any camp. Setting up a camp, click the bonfire to begin resting. Once everyone has gathered around the bonfire, press the manage button to see special interface used to set the resting time and distribute the following responsibilities among your party. Hunting success will require additional rations. Uh, this lowers the chance of enemy attack on the camp by night watch the same way night watch does. I don't know, wait. What? Okay. Cooking, preparing for the effect lasting 16 hours to the specific character or the entire party, depending on the recipe. Uh, every party member has their own special ability. You can assign more than one job to a party member, but be, be careful that would prevent them from having a proper rest. While resting, your camp meat may be attacked by enemies. After dealing with them, click on the campfire again to continue resting. It's usually better to avoid camping in dungeons. In dungeons, you won't be able to hunt, cook, or use certain unique abilities. Moreover, there's a higher chance an enemy attack in, the, in, in, in such places. Right. That is very much a thing. The thylacine... Oh, wait, skin? Yes? Or, I guess, that's not, a, yeah, okay. Alright, now, uh, camp, I guess. Let's place it down. And, uh... Yeah, alright. Camp camouflage. Rations. Right. Oh. Okay. Let's not do that. Let's help hunt instead. And then. Okay. Lindsay, what are you writing so diligently there? And why are you looking at me like that? Did you decide to write me an ode, too? You got it. Here it is. Listen. There once lived a paladin of Shaylin, whose courage was so unfailing. Hey, hey, that's my ink pot. Don't throw it at me. <laughs> We got four rations. We cooked a hearty meal. Okay, I think that went well. All right, let's continue on the move then. If your kingdom is destroyed, the game will be over. Good to know. Alright, continue moving this way, I suppose.
And that's the trading post, I believe. When in doubt, save. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it auto saves, but so I'm not too worried about that. <sighs> what time is it? Oh man, it's already 2:37. We might go a little longer. Just because I'm enjoying this. Okay. Oh, I forgot to set up our formation. Uh, we definitely probably want ourselves to be back a ways, because because we do seem to be a bit more squishy. There we go. I know what to do. Did we level up by any chance? It doesn't look like it. Inventory character status. Did anyone level up? At least we got a bard, a shield specialist, and a barbarian. Like, that is a really rounded team. And then, as an Eldritch Scion, we have some magic and some melee. It's, we, we, we got a good... We got a good setup here. Follow my lead. In the name of the Stag Lord, the uh, lawful authority in the Stolen Lands, we demand this week's tax and some beer. And where's that pretty wife of yours, Oleg? She should serve us dinner. Christ. Quiet down, dimwit. Oleg, you're just here for the Stag Lord's tax. Hand over the money, and we'll be on our way. My task is to clear this land of bandits. Oh wait, I didn't read Oleg here. You want to drink some of my blood too? I'm sick of you. you you're like locusts. You think you control everything around here just because you put up that painted rag of yours. You come here, squeeze us dry, and then come... Uh, uh, Ah, you must be guests from Ristoff. Alright, let's, uh, now, my, my, my thing that I want is the lawful neutral. My task is to clear this land of bandits. I'll start now. Retreat! We're too few to fight. Let's call for help from the camp. No way! Just means we can rob a few idiots instead of just one. To arms! We will prevail! Alright. So, uh... Let's have her... Charge. Let's have our... Bard, inspire us. She can charge as well. And then... I... Yeah. 
I missed. Or did she miss? Don't hesitate. Wait, did did we level up? Short sword. Ooh, we might be able to make use of a short sword. I thought thought. That 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 that. Um. Let me check. Yes, we got a level up. Awesome. So we have. We can't go into the Eldritch Knight at the moment, so uh, I think I'm going to keep on after stream. I wonder if we can remove certain classes from our expertise, but either way. Uh, Magus seems to have uh, Marshall and everything that we need, so we'll do that. We get another feat at level 3, too, so that's all the better. And we, can, we have three more uh, skill points to allocate. Well, that is good. Um, our perception, I think, is fine. Um, our knowledge of the arcana should be increased a bit. Maybe our athletics as well. Hmm. Now let's go with persuasion. I do like being able to be very persuasive in D&D type game and we've got a new spell uh i called these clan trips because some of them are basically clan trips from uh from D, D, but apparently in this they're just spells color spray mm, what does that do here creatures to become stunned perhaps also blinded and possibly knocking them from yeah. but i I think I will go with I will I will go with burning hands. Burning hands seems like a good a good thing for me. Uh and everything looks good, so Oh, uh, now we need to level up Valerie and the others. This might take a minute. Uh, she is a... She is a fighter tower shield specialist. Let's go ahead and just feed into that. And what does she get here? Burst barrier. The tower shield specialist can use her shield to, to screen themselves from burst spells and effects gaining plus one on bonus on reflex saves against them while employing the tower shield. This bonus increases by plus one for every four levels after second to a maximum of plus five at 18th. All right. It is very much a typical thing. And now uh, your athletics seem to be good. Your lore of nature can be improved. Let's 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 do that. That will help us, I do believe. And then um let's just improve her athletics. Ooh, and she's got a feat. A uh, blind fight in melee every time you miss because of concealment, you reroll your miss chance percentile roll one time to see if you actually hit an invisible attack will also give you advantage related to hitting you in melee. That is if you don't use your dexterity bonus. Um, against attacks of opportunity caused by when you use any... Yeah, I don't know. I really don't know. Should we just go with the recommended thing? 
the f uh, weapon focus. I think I think we'll go with that. And oh, what weapon does she use? I don't know. Uh, uh, uh. Hang on, we'll, we'll have to close the missing interface where we said, yeah, 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 yeah. What weapon is she using? A bastard sword. Okay, and it's a master. Damn. Okay, so we know what we want for these first two things. Bring this up to two. Get some lore in there. Uh, you know what? But oh no, no, never mind, never mind, never mind. We'll just bring that up to two. Uh, what happens if I bring this up? Will it go up? Yeah, let's do that. She doesn't need to be oblivious to the world. Uh, and then the weapon focus, bastard sword. Um, and that's her complete. Next is uh Lindsay who is our bard with a crossbow I hope we can give her like something something else later all right we'll give her that she will get well versed bard becomes resistance to bardic performance of others that could be useful and bard talent she learns a number of talents to aid her and confound her foes. Alright. Now, uh, of course a bard can do everything. <laughs> um, let's uh, get her lore up. She, still, she has so many points. Uh, let's get her mobility to... Some perception and athletics. You know, you never know. Like with, she's mostly our our buffer anyway. And the weapon focus. Um, I didn't check to see if it was a heavy crossbow or not. Of course not. I'm pretty sure it is. I think light crossbows are one-handed, and heavies are two-handed. Yeah, we're gonna go with the heavy. I hope I hope that that, that that she does currently have a heavy crossbow. Uh and she gets a new spell. Feather step. For the duration of the spell, the subject ignores adverse movements effects on terrain. Mm, that could be useful. Ooh, she can summon a monster? Hello. Extra planet dog. It appears where you designate an act according to its initiative check results. It attacks your opponent to the best of its abilities. Uh, costing, uh, casting time <laughs> is a full round. Uh, what else we got? We got cure. She, she doesn't she already have that? I swear she already has that. Yeah, because we can't click on it. I'm pretty sure she already has that. Remove fear, hypnotism. Hit Hideous laughter. Oh, I've had, I had somebody in my D and D campaign use this to great effect at some point. But she can summon a monster. Let us, let us summon a monster. Uh, more companions are always a good. Thing when you're not a DM and this game is doing that for us so let's take advantage and you are using a great sword or oh, a large bastard sword there's a difference no point not no point in changing her from barbarian uncanny dodge normally allow her she cannot be caught flat-footed, or does she lose her dexterity bonus to AC if the attacker is invisible? Okay. Yes, that is very much what we need. 
and she has four uh, skill points. Uh, sh I don't see her being very persuasive, but maybe one in lore, one more in mobility. I mean, in athletics. Mobility is also good. And then perception. Persweption? Perception. Jeez. And now she's got a rage power. Ooh. Animal Andrew Bird. Gains a bite attack. If used as part of a full attack, the bite attack is made at the barbarian's full base attack bonus. Minus five. If the bite hits, it deals 1d4 points of damage, assuming the barbarian is medium. 1d3 points of damage if small. Plus half the barbarian's strength modifier. Beast totem while raging. The barbarian gains two claw attacks. Which Deal. Note totem rage powers, grant powers related to a, to a theme. The bar currently can select from more than one group of totem rage powers. For example, a barbarian selects beast totem rage powers and cannot later choose to gain any of the dragon totem rage powers. Any rage power with dragon totem in its title. I like Animal Fury. Let's go with that. Alright, our peeps are all nice and leveled. What can you? I? It, it, it does not say. Yes. Yes. That there's a time limit on it. So can I just suck? I can, I can just. I can just summon it. Summon it. Now, now we've got a doggo. No, no, we don't have a doggo. It was worth a shot, though. It was. Um. Let us talk to Oleg. Take that, you scoundrels! But now. The girl got away, a plague on her. She's certain to complain to the stag lord. They came before to collect taxes, but this time they'll come to punish treason. Now what are we to do? If only I could send Sylvan... Somewhere safe and show those rats what's what. Dove! Why are you here? I told you to stay hidden. It's all over. I saw it. I just needed to be sure you were alright. My name is... I, I, I'm not even going to try. I'm not. I'm not. I'm sorry for your arrival to our trading post turned out so unwelcoming. Let's see, what should we what what should we do here? Let's get to the point. You say the bandits are going to attack again? Who are they? And when will they return? Uh, arrive. Ooh, we got a chaotic neutral's choice. Uh who are they? They're the Stag Lords gang. That's who. These lands teem with bandits like bedbugs in a beggar's hut. And you just stirred them up. They have a camp not far from here. I expect they'll return in full force in half a day. Maybe less. The stag lord won't take an insult like this lightly. And his henchmen are more, more like demons than men. I'll help you. I'm not really interested in your post. But I never back down from a good fight. Well, thanks, I guess. I might even be able to 
scrap some sort of reward together for you if we manage to defend the post. We have to hide my wife. Please don't argue, Gov. Now, we also need to decide on a plan. Go ahead and look around. There may be some tools that can be used for the battle. There may... There, there are some pretty solid traps around. Some tar and a box of alchemist fire, it looks like. Okay. Uh... Alchemist's fire? We could put it on the gate, light it off with a burning arrow when those bandits are nearby. But that could catch the f set the f post on fire. Well, maybe if we cover the walls in some sort of in something to protect them. All right, yes, I, I think that I think it could work. I'll even shoot the arrow myself. I used to be pretty good with the crossbow back in my day. I'm going to look around, think on the best way to use the tar traps. Alright, as soon as you're finished, let us know. Don't leave the post, the bandits could be returned any time. Okay. Broken? Alright. Alright, do we have tar traps in our inventory here? Uh, can we sort our inventory? Pipe and yeah, yeah, stuff. Does that work? We do not have. We do not. We do not. Okay. Let's. Uh, that is not far. Uh, potatoes. Uh. So far, I'm really enjoying this game. In due time. Talk to Boken. A frail, disheveled old man wearing a stained and tattered robe gives you a gloomy look. I'm Boken. Local herbalist, what brings you, you here? We could use your help fighting the bandits. Where's this coming from? You want an old man like me to fight? Here, take this potion. Consider that my help and you'll fight. Oh, that'll work. Tell me about yourself. What's that to tell? I'm an herbalist. Make potions, sell them, gather herbs, roots, berries. Uh, I've, I live in the forest. Live off the land since leaving Ravis Restoff. For these parts, I ended up a merchant here at Oleg and his wife's post. They let me in and out of kindness. Help me with things. They bring me water or firewood when it's cold, and the occasional barrel of honey. They're good people. We'll talk later. Alright. Um. Talk to Oleg. Oleg, I'd like to see your goods. Oh, he sells weapons. For some gold, we can get some of this stuff off of us. I do believe I need to keep that, though. I think I'll keep that. I might want to... I might read that later. Lore, lore books are great. 
What else does he have? He seems to have plenty of weapons. And he has... Hide armor. Scale mail. Medium. We want light, really. I think I think that's fine. Let's get some money from him. Save our uh, save our currency because things are kind of expensive at the moment. And let's put on those bracers before I forget. Uh, they go there. There we go. Oh, did that actually change? Yeah, it does. Is it is it sad that I didn't expect that? Let's put some potions here. What are you looking like? Yeah, you're 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 you're, you're fine. You don't need anything, do you? What about you? Light armor. Got got a chain shirt for you instead. And that should help you out a bit. I kind of crossbow is it? Oh no, it's a light crossbow. Oh, I made a mistake. I should have checked. I should have just gone back and checked. That uh, that is my my mistake uh, on her character sheet there. But I mean, it'll be fine. Now what do you got? Hide armor. Yeah, I don't see any reason of changing your things either. You seem pretty... Why is her weapon in the final slot? That is odd. Okay. Uh, let's... Let's just put, give her some potions. Give her some potions. Give her some potions. that's good what time is it oh it's already three guys wow it's been it's been two hours already uh we will go a little bit longer just see this see how this fight turns out um let's get back to the possible attack uh Tell me as much as you know. How many bandits are there? What do they want? What do they want? Those bloodsuckers think they own this land. They come and take what they want and steal the better part of our money every month as toll for their leader. They even broke our gate so we couldn't try to hide anything from them. No one knows exactly how many there are. Sometimes only five or six come. Sometimes it's a whole gang. I'd have, sh I'd have shown them a what, what for a whoa. I, I'd have shown them what for long ago, if not for my wife. All right, let's let's wait for the uh, uh, bandit attack. I'm prepared for the attack. Get in your positions and wait. Fear not. I'll stand between you and this scum. You're under my protection. Finally! A fight! I was bored with all the talking. Well, these aren't the heroics I was hoping to write about, but I guess even the greatest heroes had to start somewhere. I see you're not easily cowed. I beg you, be careful and please. Don't let Oleg do anything too risky. Wife, go hide inside. We're going to meet our guests. Alright. Some time has passed. Let's get this fight on the way. 
and then we'll, uh... Oh, yeah. Oh, that was a good idea. Oh, that's... They had some reflex saves there, but... It looks like we got four. Yeah. Like, that was good. Alright. Now, let's, uh... Us do that. Um. No, 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 no. Let's let's her let's start her doing that. And let's have our two peeps. Yes. Wow, why did they not charge in like I was expecting? This won't kill me. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh But part I was I wasn't fast enough with mine. But it's okay. We we won anyway. Doesn't appear Ooh, a cloak. Yes, please. Use that for my guy. Doesn't appear to be any armor that's worth anything. So uh, we'll leave all that to as it as it. Was. Let's talk to Oleg. Oh, you rats got what you deserved. Now they'll know better than to treat honest people like cattle. We should call Boken out before he freezes in those bushes. My lord. Now, my lord. Head up to the guest rooms on the second floor. You deserve some rest after such a battle. I need to clean things up. Ooh. Uh, and this is for your efforts. Now, don't offend me by trying to turn it down. Just take it. An honest fight deserves an honest reward. If, if that were more common practice in this world, I think life would be much, so much better. I agree. Let's go inside. Let's talk to the wife person. She doesn't have anything real to say. No, no choices or anything. Which is, that's fine. We don't need to heal because we're going to be resting. Anything else? Let's maybe not steal from this pe this group of people. Uh, before I hit, go to the bed. Let's a cloak of resistance. On all saving throws. Okay. Yes, please. It's blue. Don't particularly like blue, but it will do. Uh, yes. Okay. Um, just the one bed to sleep? Okay. Alright. Oh, what? Okay, everyone else is asleep. You wake up from a nasty dream that tormented you almost all night long. In it, you saw a wall of unnaturally thick fog that surrounded you. Slowly moving closer and closer, a quick look out of the window and you find yourself out. You find out that the fog was not a figment of your imagination, not a dream. And then... Hear me, please. 
please hear me. Oh. Can you hear me? Please. Oh. Uh, who are you? Who am I? Just a tear shed by the land itself. The bitter sigh of nature. I am a nymph, the guardian of this area. A defeated guardian. Call me the guardian of the bloom, if you wish. <laughs> I'm glad my adventure begins with such a beautiful sight. Beauty is so tender. It can so easily be crushed under the blows of cruel fate. But you can save it from being undone. What do you want from me? Aid. Salvation. We have a common enemy, and long have I searched for someone who can defeat him. The one you call the Stag Lord. As a storm strikes ruthlessly with gusts and lightning, the Stag Lord wreaks havoc with the swords of his servants. And not just in the world of people. The land also suffers from the evil he brings. My forests and my flowers suffocate in this fog. Soon even I will vanish as the last ray of light fades at dusk. The Stag Lord is responsible for the fog? Yes. It hides his fortress as well as his dark deeds. While responsible, he did not create this affliction. It is the work of a powerful druid who has betrayed even himself. I know not why the powers did not leave this renegade, but even I was unable to defeat him. How can I help you? This fog, it enshrouds, entangles, suffocates. If only I could learn how it was created. But my powers wane. I have barely the strength to call out to you. All I know for certain is that somewhere in this forest lies an old house. And it echoes with the remnants of a strange power. The Stag Lord and his druid were there. The fog hides this place from me. But I can point you to the bandit's camp near the Thornford. Make them tell you where this place is. Go there and listen to the echo. Catch the whispers. Search for anything that can tell you how the fog was created. Once the fog clears, nature will breathe again. And you will be able to easily find your way to the fortress of our mutual enemy. All right, I understand. Farewell. I don't believe in fate, stranger. But our meeting seems more than a coincidence. be able to choose your companions as you wish to, that you wish to take with you I guess all right let's see I think we are going to end it here so I, I reckon I I could go back to sleep uh, six in the morning yeah uh, we're going to end it here and click save game and I'm not going to edit it. Uh, if you are... If you enjoy this stream, remember to...
follow. And if you're seeing this on YouTube, make sure to like and subscribe. Comment if you wish. It helps with the analytics a bit. And, um, yeah. I think that's it. Oh, don't forget to go to no Retalius mistakes. on YouTube and like and like and subscribe to him. He's the one that that provides this royalty fleet free music that we have playing in the background. Uh, I think that's all, everyone. Have a wonderful day.